Hey everybody, I just wanted to take this quick video to show the current state of the Wandering Spruce Railroad. My partner Kevin and I have been building for about the last two years and four months, give or take. Um, so I, I really don't know what I want to talk about in this video. All I do know for sure is that all those trees over there are going on this layout on this coming Sunday. Today is Thursday, so in three days we're putting about 145, 150-ish trees on this layout. So I really, the point of this video is to kind of document the current state of the layout as it is now. Basically no trees. Um, I'm going to try to keep this video probably about five minutes long, give or take, but uh, I just wanted to kind of document the process or the current state of the layout with no trees on it. Um, so, yeah. Just kind of showing the layout, what we're currently really proud of. Al Judy made that office building. I made that a water tower. My partner Kevin is currently working on the tipple right here. This is a cardboard mock-up of it. But we're going to have, we have this little switchback going up the hill right here to what will be the mine. This mine tower shaft is was designed for when we originally were going to use a larger tipple here. Um, so those those um, cross members were represented at a bridge that went across, but we ended up using a shorter tipple because this is a background building and the original tipple was much larger. It would have been more suited for a foreground built structure. So with it being a background building, we wanted it to kind of more so blend into the background. So this uh, this mine shaft tower will be shorter and the, the ON18 track will just kind of go across the back and there'll be a little ramp that the, the ore cars would dump into the tipple. Um, we're really happy with this, this switchback that formed this rock face. And the switchback happened when we were tearing down this mountain. This mountain originally went all the way to the very top of the background and back down. And it just it was overpowering. We didn't like it. I wanted to trade mountain for more trees because basically any trees on top of the mountain um, couldn't couldn't have gone there because the layout goes up in the rafters when it's stored and so those trees would have hit the rafters so we said hey let's cut the mountain in half and when we cut the mountain in half this this switchback kind of just formed in, in by process of ripping foam off I'm like, hey that, that kind of looks like a switchback but oh yeah let's let's leave that and so it really didn't take much um uh shaping to to, to get it to look like a proper switchback but we're really happy with how that worked out. Sometimes happy accidents really do make better results. So, just kind of want to document the pro the current state. The everyone really likes the the background we got. This is a a background from Joy Ricard at TracksideScenery.com. Just a gorgeous gorgeous backdrop that really makes it look like it goes on for miles. Especially when you're photographing something down here like this and. You know, it just it just makes it look like it goes on forever. This is where the, uh, the lumber mill is going to go. Probably save that for the very very last part. We are kind of fitting. We really don't have much space for a lumber mill. This is going to be kind of a, a rough sawn lumber mill. Wouldn't be something that produces finished material by any stretch of the imagination. We just a proper lumber mill would take up a space that's five times bigger than that. We we are kind of trying to. Squeeze 10 pounds into a five pound sack with the space we have there, but the layout is kind of currently in, in, a, in a state of the scenery at least in, in, a, in a point where we really can't continue any farther until the trees are on the layout because the, the, the trees really do kind of tell us where the, uh, the forest floor goes and where debris might end up. So we, we really can't progress any farther on the layout until, until the trees are in. And speaking of which, that's not all of them either. This is about 130 trees and I have a gentleman um, called Don making me about another 15 trees that will arrive tomorrow. So uh, yeah, this is all the trees. I'm gonna go over to the other side of the layout. This is probably gonna be my favorite scene on the whole layout. There's probably gonna be 50 trees on this scene right here. It's just gonna to totally transform the whole look of the layout right here. It's really going to be something special. We're going to have a waterfall coming down, down there, cascading, cascading, and then kind of a, a river going off to the end of the layout. We have this little sandbar 
start of another landform slash island here off to the side. This really adds a lot of visual interest. Just, just this is probably my favorite scene on the whole layout. Just watching Shays work their way across that that uh, bridge at five miles an hour. This scene right here is going to be the lumber or the the lumber camp. So there's going to be the two bunk houses, a chicken coop, and there's going to be a little chicken coop um, in the middle there. Probably fit a fire pit somewhere in there with some chairs around it. People just kind of relaxing for the after a day, sitting around the fire, cooking, maybe drying some some laundry. Um, right here, that building's not going to stay there. It's just for the for now. Right there is going to be a blacksmith shop, and right there is going to be a water tower. And up here is where the, uh, the logging landing is. This is where they're gonna, there's going to be a big uh, po pole hoist crane thing right there. And this donkey is going to be running that hoist. And so you'll load, you'd back in the empty log cars here and they'll get loaded. These are some loads that I made that you just kind of put on top of the, the empty skeleton cars. So it's quite a lot of actually switching operation that goes up here because you have to if you pull up the, the cars, you have to switch behind them and push them in here. Or if you pull them up with a caboose, then you have to leave the caboose over here and drop those off there and then push them back in and then grab the fools that are over here, then grab your caboose and go back down. So it can take anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes of switching if you're doing it with a geared locomotive up here to get to drop off the empties, grab fools, and start your way, start working your way back down the, the hill. Um, and so what would actually happen here is this is where you would get the logs and you bring them down through that tunnel and you come back through this tunnel through here and you come down the bridge this is a three percent grade we're working our way down losing elevation and we come down this uh, this track here working our way down again still maintaining a three percent reduction or 3% grade, and you'd come out here, come down. So now this is about six inches between here and here, six inch elevation change. And then you'd come through, you go in this tunnel, you'd actually come out. It goes behind this rock face right here is a track behind there, and you come out right here. And you work your way across this bridge past the engine house and you would do a little bit of a switching operation right here as well if you wanted to push the, the full log cars into where the mill would be you have to drop them off here work your way around come behind the cars and then push them into the mill and then uh, a switcher would switch those fools there once they're empty they would bring the empty log cars over here which is kind of our really only staging area on the layout and so your empties would be there so once you drop off the fools, you come over here, grab the empties, and bring them back up. So that's kind of the workflow. Um, so yeah, just like I said, I just want to kind of document the process, or not the process, but just where we're where we're at currently. I mean, we're we're really starting to be pretty happy with some of the scenery on here, and we really couldn't take it any farther until until the the trees are on it. So I think it's going to be a really transformative work session you know once we put all these trees on here I think it's going to be as transformative as when we took it out of pink and white foam land you know putting all the trees on here I think it's, it's really going to just just take the layout from from great to amazing and and we'll continue to to uh, develop the scenery and, and everything but we really couldn't go any farther until we put the trees on I mean, not. we're really happy with these vines We've, we've been doing there, there just needs there, there needs to be a lot more bushes and trees and vines and and shrubs and 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 bushes so this is a full shot of this side of the layout and for those that don't know this is a five foot by ten foot layout and it goes these hooks hooks grab onto these eye bolts right here and that pulley right there, or the, the winch, pulls the whole thing up into the rafters. So this whole 5 foot by 10 foot layout, that weighs about 200 pounds. We've, we've actually been able to maintain, two people can easily pick it up. So it's for, for the size of it, it's still very, very light. So we just wheel it over, 
hook it all up and raise raise it up into the rafters in the garage and I'm able to park two cars and a layout in a two car garage. So here's your overall shot. There's I mean I I don't think it's it's translating in video how good these trees look and how many there are. It it really is a lot of trees. This is our tallest tree, this one right here. And it's about 24 inches tall. It's, it's a pretty big tree. Most of them are anywhere between 8 to 12 inches. We have a few 14 and some 16. Um, a couple 20s and then this big guy is 24 incher. I mean, these guys, you know, I see this one. This one's, that one's only, you know, 5 inches tall, if even. So, anyway, I think that does a pretty good job of, of capturing where the layout is at right now. Super excited for a Sunday's work session. We'll see how different the layout looks. I think, I think it's just going to be totally transformed. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed this, this quick clip. It turned out to be a lot longer. I said five minutes. We're at 11, so what do I know? Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, catch you soon. Bye.